Bonsoir et merci pour qui nous garde rendez-vous pour l'autre programme News Extra. Aujourd'hui, le programme Autism Seychelles il prend présidence pour la région de l'Océan Indien. Et l'Université Sicile il commence à faire cours doctorat dans l'administration business. Depuis hier, le président Weaverum Calawan et Barcelone ont participé à la conférence de l'Océan 2024. C'est la Commission des Nations Unies qui appelle l'Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission qui organise à l'événement 3 jours en baptême The Science We Need, The Ocean We Get. À côté de l'événement, le président Rom Kalawan a fait une interview avec le euh, journaliste de la scène nouvelle sinon, CGTN, qui a parmi ben, si zé, qui a adressé et la façon qui c'est celle qui a réussi à créer une balance entre son intérêt économique et la préservation de nos territoires maritimes. Il dit que c'est celle qui prend sa action audacieuse que les autres pays présents qui ont décidé de faire. Your Excellency, thank you very much for making time for us. Well, first of all, Seychelles, Seychelles is a beautiful island country that uh, relies, it's fair to say, heavily on the oceans. How, how has Seychelles been uh, balancing between ocean conservation and economic interest? Well, thank you very much, first of all, for your kind words about Seychelles. And as I say, you're most welcome to come and visit and enjoy the beauty. Well, first of all, we, you, you've also got to look at uh, the, the main industry, which is tourism. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the tourism industry, we also look at the blue economy. And uh, in the blue economy, we look at different aspects of, uh, of, of what will keep us sustainable. Because if we put emphasis on mass tourism, this will also have an effect on what happens to the oceans and, 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 and the whole environment. So one, Seychelles is committed to protecting the, the oceans, and this is why even the BBNJ, we, we haven't waited for 2030 in order for us to, to take concrete actions. It's only now that countries are starting to ratify, and Seychelles is the third country to ratify the, the High Seas Treaty. But we have already, we are already protecting over 30% of the 1.4 million square kilometers that, uh, that represents uh, Seychelles. Um, as far as the protection of the mangroves and uh, seagrass, we, we're now moving on to 100%. So, which means that uh, we are really concerned about, uh, about the ocean. Industrial fishing is now controlled. There are quotas for, for, the, for tuna fishing. When, when it comes to protecting the, the, artisanal, the, the artisanal sector, we also have limitations on, for example, the size of uh, certain species that can be, that can be caught. And, and soon we, are, we will move into the direction of having a closed season mm -hmm. for Lobs uh, for octopus, octopus uh, fisheries. Mm -hmm. We already have one for uh, lobster, mm -hmm. and uh, even for sea cucumber, right. because mm -hmm. all these need to be protected. And once we can, once we can protect uh, these species, it will also mean that we are protecting the ocean, mm -hmm. which uh, which is very close to to our hearts. And you have a very special way in terms of uh, ocean conservation. You issued the blue bonds. Would you share with us more of that, how it works? Well, some years back, uh, together with the, with the World Bank, the initiative came about and, and blue bonds were, were established mm -hmm. and very successfully. And uh, we are very, very proud that today other countries, other island states are, are going in, in, into that same direction. But we also had uh, the swap, the debt swap for conservation. And uh, this has meant that uh, with the money received, we've been able to, we've been able to help uh, projects, people who have projects related to the, to the ocean and to environment conservation in general, have been able to receive seed money. And, uh, and this has helped. And uh, every year, every year, um, uh, applications are open and, and the best projects get, uh, get assistance. Mm -hmm. For example, one of the, one of the um, uh, 
beneficiaries this year has been the Seychelles Islands Foundation, which manages the atoll of Aldebra, which is a World Heritage, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And they've received money for them to, to embark on a project to destroy, to eliminate rats and cats. And what will this mean? Because this is again linked directly to ocean conservation. If we manage to do that, it will mean that the bird population on that atoll will go up by 750 times. It will mean that with, the, with more birds, the, the guano from the birds will help protect the corals and therefore the sea life will be, will be further enhanced right. and uh, the, the biomass of the fish in the Aldabra region will, will increase. So everything is so is, is linked, interlinked, interlinked and, uh, and this is where we've always got to go back to the science. Yeah. And this is why I like this conference, talking about the science we need. For the ocean we want. For the ocean we want. Yeah, exactly. and uh, in that course, actually, international collaboration is uh, crucial. Crucial. Yeah, and uh, I know that uh, Seychelles and China has formed a blue partnership. Can you tell us uh, more about the cooperation between the two countries? Well, uh, China and Seychelles uh, have always been very good friends, and uh, there's been collaboration on, uh, on many, many areas, and uh, this uh, cooperation will, will continue to grow. And uh, be it uh, as far as protecting the oceans are concerned, be it as far as the social side of, uh, of, uh, of life. And, uh, and of course, uh, here I can mention that uh, China will soon be, ha well, gave us a Coast Guard's boat mm -hmm. some time back. And uh, this year, we expect another one. And this is China's way of helping us to protect the resources that we have. And to and in maritime security safety, we we have this very good uh, collaboration. And next week, next week, three Chinese uh, um, uh, warships will be will be docked in Port Victoria. Yeah. This shows the the level of cooperation and mutual trust. And mutual trust yes. As well, and any potential for future cooperation uh, in terms of ocean conservation between the two countries? Well, uh, we are open. And uh, our blue economy department mm -hmm. works with uh, every country, mm -hmm. and uh, let us see mm -hmm. what other areas we can we can embark so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know because uh, Seychelles uh, is one of the strong supporters of China's uh, uh, Belt and Road uh, Blue Initiative. So there might be a lot of uh, projects in the future. And about the Ocean Decade, you just uh, spoke. Uh, at the ceremony of the Ocean Decade Conference this year. How would you evaluate the impact of an uh, Ocean Decade initiative in terms of uh, protecting the interests of uh, island countries, mm -hmm. which are mostly developing countries but relies, rely heavily on the sea? Well, uh, I think uh, the decade itself uh, is bringing about the awareness that is, Im that is important, because we had taken the oceans for granted. But now that uh, science is putting greater emphasis and we are getting a better understanding of the oceans, the role of the oceans and how, and how taking care of the oceans also means taking care of humanity. Because without the oceans, we will, as a race, simply disappear. So I think uh, it's very important what is happening and the research that is being done in various parts of the world, cleaning up the oceans, giving it back uh, the life that it needs, putting emphasis on conservation. So I think all in all, it's a very, I mean, the decision to have a, an ocean decade mm -hmm. where we put the emphasis, and I've seen that in my own country. Mm -hmm. I mentioned it in my speech, the collaboration between, between Monaco and Seychelles, mm -hmm. the video, the, the, the documentary that was filmed yesterday. Um, and, uh, and many other, other collaboration that we, that we have. It's just about highlighting the need for all of us to protect the ocean. And Seychelles is definitely a partner the world can depend on. But however, 
we also want the world to understand our vulnerabilities. We are island states and whatever happens in the industrialized world, we receive the brunt of the, of the effects. So we, we are now faced with coastal erosion. The rise in sea level is affecting our islands and this is why we are also calling for the establishment of the MVI, the Multidimensional Vulnerability Index, so that we are not looked at. It's not our success that matters, but also giving us the possibility to have access to concessional financing. Because now the West is saying, you are high income, and therefore we cannot give you assistance. And here. I appreciate China not looking at us this way, or else we would not be receiving the, the collaboration and the, and the assistance. So we, the world needs to look at us in that light, and this will help us instead of putting money that should have gone into education, into health, and other, other sectors of society, developing the SDGs, we have to we have to divert those funds into protecting the coast. So if we could have the world understand this, then we would do much better and uh, we would play a more important role in protecting the ocean. Cécile, une pour présidence pour l'association L'Océan Indien pour autisme, sa essence pour autres capables d'irriser bonne activité dans l'Océan Indien. Mandat est duré pour un an. Et dans tout ça, le ministère de l'Éducation dit qu'ils ont une paré pour donner tout ce support pour faire ce qui est tout quelque chose et d'après les autres plans. Each time organizations like this meet together for the benefit of uh, children or for the benefit of a group within the society with some challenges, I think. As a Ministry of Education, we commend such initiative. And today, of course, what will be happening, the Seychelles will be taking the, um, the chairmanship of uh, the association, the organization. We welcome that. And as a Ministry of Education, we are committed to working with the group, just like we've been doing over the years, work with the group to ensure that the autism Seychelles you know, benefit from major developments that are happening. And as the Ministry of Education, we can really um, cater for, for the needs and also for the aspiration of uh, the members of the community. So what will happen over the next uh, few, few minutes will really symbolize our intention and will also fit very well with the Ministry of Education plan. We have plan at the moment to convert two schools, a primary and a secondary school, into the, what we call an inclusive school. Um, we cannot at the moment afford to have all schools across the country as an inclusive school, but we want to try and pilot the, we are trying to pilot the idea in two schools, a primary and a secondary school. And of course, we will see the benefit of what we are doing. And immediately, as soon as we will be seeing the benefit, we will um, obviously um, scale up the project. And definitely, um, student within the, um, the autistic children, will definitely benefit also from, from this uh, initiative. We met sometimes last week, in the very, last year, in the very same room where we discussed about the future of autism Seychelles, of the future of our inclusive education plan. And I can, I can say that we are on the right track and we are doing our best. The government is doing its best to support student and I mean not only student but the, the population at large with with physical or certain challenges. So um, my my dear audience um, I believe the association 
will be in good hands, <laughs> being because I know each time Seychelles take the lead of something, we do it with heart and we do it also with great passion. So I commend all the, the major, the big ideas behind this project and I wish everybody um, success and, uh, and a fantastic journey ahead. Polotis Mosaïdien, un groupe mal régional qui comprend une bonne association um, autisme. Nous sommes à six pays. So, autisme, c'est La Réunion, Maurice, Rodrigue, Mayotte, Madagascar. Et nous sommes dans les Maldives qui nous fait que nous sommes aujourd'hui. Um, pour l'autisme océanien, tu commencé, tu as l'idée en 2016, tu as l'autisme CC, l'autisme La Réunion et l'autisme Maurice, ça trois présidents, ça l'étant. Tu viens ensemble pour dire, ben, nous avons un camarade pour nous mettre des efforts ensemble, mettre de la force ensemble, pour nous promouvoir nous l'intérêt, pas ici dans nos pays, mais, mais dans la région. Parce qu'on est l'union, il fait la force. So nous travaillons ensemble, nous mettons ressources ensemble, nous supportons les camarades. Et ça, en principe, il supposé faire, faire nous en impliquant la voix. Fait nous venons un petit peu plus fort, mon cas, dit comme ça. La Seychelles peut assumer la présidence pour combien de temps et est-ce que c'est Céline des assume la présidence avant Oui. Nous sommes président pour l'autisme indien en 2018 et normalement, il dirait pour, pour un an. Ça veut dire que ça fait la deuxième fois que nous, nous prenons la, la présidence. Et qui veut dire ça Qui, qui nous souhaite trouver dans le monde autisme Seychelles um, Tout programme, tout posé qui. La Seychelles travaille là, là. Bien si c'est celle qui pour lead. Um, c'est mon idée, c'est pour nous partager les ressources. Travail camarade, um, essence de formation. Peut-être uh, ça qui peut marcher bien dans un pays, ou partager avec l'autre ressources qui un pays en a, nous sommes capables et les autres. Um, pas nous avons l'idée pour nous, peut-être pas de bon thérapeutes, à cause de nous, nous avons des membres, nous avons besoin d'asie honnête. Il y a des membres qui font un petit peu plus de progrès, qui font un petit peu plus de vent, qui font un peu plus de ressources, qui la restent. So, nous avons l'idée pour nous, peut-être pas de disons, de bon thérapeutes, il y a des pays qui... qui il y en a plus trained professionnels, plus de thérapeutes qui ont été formés, qui ont été formés, mais tandis qu'il y en a pas nécessairement, qu'il y en a assez. Donc, so, une bonne idée qui nous sorti fort de nos meeting, c'est à cause de nous, pour un certain temps, de partager avec les camarades et de uh, train, de former ce qui est en déficit. Petit M. Chel, nous avons un petit peu de background et combien de membres vous avez, combien d'enfants, combien d'adultes qui vous occupé. Autism Seychelles, c'est comme si un groupe euh, plus ou moins support. Si Mes parents qui viennent ensemble. Um, Mes parents qui tiennent un peu désespérés, si mon cas dit comme ça. Ils viennent ensemble pour supporter les camarades. Mais ça tient en 2012, 2013, comme ça. Mais après, ils ont euh, formalisé, ils ont euh, enregistré comme un, un NGO, une association. Et, et depuis là, le groupe a grandi. Nous avons. Plus qu'il y a membres, mais c'est un board exécutif qui est neuf membres. Ça a gagné à pointer, là, nous faisons nos EGM. So, um, oui, bi, plus ou moins, c'est pour promouvoir l'intérêt, bon, du monde, um, négocier le gouvernement, apporter le gouvernement, ou le support, ou le sponsorship pour promouvoir pou l'intérêt, bon, du monde, l'autisme spectrum. Mm -hmm. Là, qui est bien les autres activités que je peux faire là? En effet, là, nous, nous en plein, moi, moi, autisme, autisme awareness month, il nous dit, avril, um, nous nous euh, concentrons un petit peu, l'eau, ça, l'événement, quand nous nous welcome, on dit, on dit, on dit, on dit, on dit, il y a un peu de travail pour faire, mais seulement, nous nous restons fidèles avec nous, nous fun run, qui nous dit, fait dimanche passé, Um, Turn out, tu es ok, nous sommes bien appréciés, nous sommes qui nous support nous. Et après ça, nous, ça se met entier, nous avons une bonne activité avec nos différentes délégations. Et après ça, nous pouvons continuer à nous poser pour nous créer awareness. Um, nous avons posé, quand nous avons envie de faire des clips ou des films, quand nous mettons des autisme dans une situation de la vie. Et, et, 
et nous montrer qui m'a eu bon différents bon différents scénarios qui affectent les autres, qui affectent les autres, qui m'a eu les autres, autres sentis ça c'est un overload. C'est mon cas qui dit ça. Et peut-être nous pensons que ça y a, y a aidé à comprendre plus. À cause de nous, nous dit à cause de notre sensible à ta base, sensible à la um, euh, visuelle. Mais là, nous avons dit à la place qui nous crée cette awareness. À travers pas ces messages, mais nous avons dit à la place. Peut-être que nous avons compris un petit peu plus bien. Ça y est, nous avons posé. Nous avons envie de faire. Et après, nous avons montré cause avec euh, Dipam Cinema aussi. Um, pour ça, moi, um, nous avons fait un show, un film. Dis pour dire mon autisme, dis pour maman, il y a un film. Quand maman est venue, ils ont été free to be themselves. Peut-être si un maman autistique dit pas qu'il y a un film, un normal show, ils ont fait un petit peu ils ont pas envie de santé, ils ont fait un petit peu de santé. Et dis pour dire, si ils payent son argent, ils n'ont pas envie de disturber, ils veulent voir son film. Mais nous avons envie de donner une opportunité pour les autres expériences de PAM, de be free to be themselves. En principe, on finit gagner l'agrément avec honneur du PAM. Nous disons qu'on pour gagner une date. Et aussi, non, tous les lendemains, pour les hommes, nous faisons un lendemain. Um, nous pouvons arriver de la fin mois, la fin avril, pardon. Um, à cause de la nuit, un petit peu busy avec une bonne activité, avec une délégation, mais seulement, nous, nous prenons un lendemain. Après ça, nous les spread out un petit peu d'activité aussi. Nous parlons de tout, nous sommes <laughs> 10 avril. Um, nous les faisons question pour les parents aussi. Peut-être une euh, activité qu'on te sente, qu'on donne par un vin, ils ont détonné un coup. Et nous nous quittons un lisier, les autres enfants. Comme si les parents aussi ont besoin de ça, sa qualité de cœur. En ma cause, on plein de temps, puis on occupe les enfants. Donc, nous nous sentons importants, nous donnons sa cœur, les parents aussi. Et après, nous allons poser, nous continuons, nous allons travailler un petit peu près avec le ministère de l'Éducation, nous allons poser l'inclusivité, nous allons aller à l'école, nous allons travailler très près. Nous allons travailler avec, et poser avec SIE qui m'a aidé pour um, improve, faciliter l'airport pour mon dimon, le spectrum. Nous sommes bien contents ici et nous posons nous. Et nous, 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 They were very sensitive to, to his needs. So, il y a quelque chose qui nous besoin de répliquer aussi ici. Ça. So, nous avons beaucoup posé, nous avons travaillé là. Nous avons encore actuellement qui Je ne sais pas, L'Université Cécile peut commencer à faire cours de doctorat dans l'administration business. Mais sa programme, c'est pour développer un exécutif qui a envie de se plier devant et développer notre capacité de gestion de business. Sa programme, il y a pour trois ans et pour aussi être autres pour une bonne position clé de bonne business. The Doctor of Business Administration is a degree that represents the highest level of academic achievement in the field of business and management. This DBA program is designed to equip our students with knowledge, skills, and competences necessary to excel in today's complex and dynamic business environment. Through a rigorous curriculum, cut, cutting edge research and practical application, our goal is to develop a new generation of business leaders who will drive innovation, foster sustainable growth, and make a positive impact on society. As we embark on this exciting journey, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all faculty members, especially from the Department of Business Administration and Finance in the Faculty of Business and Sustainable Development, namely Dr. Junior Yo, to our quality assurance section, specifically Mrs. Diana Itye, all internal staff and external, local and international collaborators who have worked tirelessly or who have advised us to bring this program to fruition. Their dedication, expertise, and commitment to excellence have been instrumental in shaping the vision and curriculum of the DBA program. Special mention and thanks to the Seychelles Qualifications Authority, which has also contributed immensely to this wonderful project. I believe it is also SQA's validation of its first local doctoral program. So it is therefore a milestone for them as well. For us at UNICE, this is a great achievement 
as we celebrate our 15th anniversary this year. It is testimony that UNICEF is moving forward and delivering on its mandate. The, this first doctoral program has paved the way for other programs to be developed and offered soon in other fields of study, such as environment or education, etc. As faculty members introduce us to the details of this DBA program, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our future students who have chosen or who will soon be choosing to embark on this challenging yet rewarding academic journey. Your passion for learning, your drive for success, and your determination to make a difference will undoubtedly inspire us all. What we've been doing over the last year is looking at our work as a faculty, what goes on. Our faculty is organized into four departments, academic departments ranging from business, environmental science, tourism and cultural heritage, and the Department of Law. Each of these departments are headed up by competent heads and excellent staff to be able to grow each of the departments in, in those areas. But what we are here today to celebrate is the doctoral program. It marks a milestone in education, not just here in Seychelles, but also here in the region. We, we do lots of things at the faculty level. We look at work plans and how, how work is organized the curriculum planning is the curriculum appropriate for the needs of the country and of the today and tomorrow's students as well. We're about to introduce an access to higher education at the other end of the curriculum spectrum to give people a second chance at, get, at gaining a degree in higher education and working the way through to the doctoral level. Our tourism and travel prep master's programs will be launched very soon in conjunction and in collaboration with another university in Mauritius. We aim to provide a number of events, particularly in envi environmental science, and build in towards uh, the onset of a PhD program to complement the doctoral program, which we're, again, we're very proud of. We're looking to expand our overseas opportunities for students to be able to have an international experience, particularly in year two of an undergraduate program, but extend that to masters and doctoral programs. Our short courses will lead on and provide opportunities for people to gain a particular degree or work towards the doctoral program as well. Alongside the doctoral program, we're also going to introduce a business incubator which will help local businesses develop their business into from conception to maturity and growth. And each one of those are the steps of planning, of launching, and managing the business to growth will work alongside a comprehensive and progressive curriculum. Alongside of that, particularly with the doctoral program, is the research opportunities. I get often asked, What's the difference between a master's program and a doctoral program? And it's a question sometimes academics get a little bit confused about. Well, what, what makes it different? What makes a doctoral program? And the only answer is, is contribution to knowledge, that we will know something at the end of the doctoral program we didn't at the beginning. And that contribution to knowledge is subjected to rigorous internal and external assessment. Professional doctorates are growing in popularity across the world. And I've really got to thank Dr. Junior for what he's done because the, the way it's been put together meets the needs of the future of Seychelles, but also embraces a lot of the challenges. I commend this program to you for, I can see some old MBA students from a few years ago. This is the time to step up and to make a real difference. The university is here for two years. We started in our discussion with the good stakeholders and also in consultation with the National Human Resource Development Plan and also the national priority needs of the country. We have to say that we have a demand for it. And as an university who has 16 years old, we have a doctoral program and a doctoral program that plus haut dans un académique euh, institution. Alors, il tient sa, sa demande pour mettre un programme comme ça dans l'université Cécile, at the highest level, et à la même temps pour 
um, uh, meet the needs kiana da pay e pu equip no ban uh, no ban future leaders and no ban leaders ki already la ki am um, zo ta kapam am um, fe sa letit pu et zo ta mti pe dan de reses dan leadership uh, e de ban decision ki zo pou fe de zo everyday uh, travail ki zo fe Um, to program ke no l'université sesel no fe i bezwen pas sou de sechers qualification authority pou validation pou nou kapam um, delivre sa program e sa uh, e sa bodi li sechers qualification authority i sa l'institution dan peyi ki i don nou sa accreditation of ban program pou kapam ou fe ko tou kapam al anywhere else in the world avec ko certificat ki ou ganyen e sa procedure li menm i komans ek nou pa e mondi de sa konsultasyon e tou ban nan dokiman i ganyen met an plas um, non e checklist ko nou bezwen met tou sa ban dokiman an plas e submit avec SQA ko la SQA li i review e i regarde si tou kekso zin ganyen submit dapre zot kriter e la i don nou nou valide chan e nou kapa komans sa program e sa program li menm kwa ou expecter après ça um and qui way forward je peux continuer faire un tel programme dans le futur définitivement après qui nous gagne first cohort de sa programme définitivement nous pas envie faire les encore et pareil nous c'est plus bonheur aussi nous un autre programme qui avec Escure pour le moment which is the DBL uh, doctor doctor of uh, business leadership ki yo si ya dok en program doktora e non 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 ban targeted marketing ki non non pou fè pou nou kapab gany um, participant lo tole de sa ban program e of course si pou benefis pa selman sa individu sa participant ki partis, ki pran sa program me osi peyi pa mon di de ban desisyon de ban leadership e tou ban kesos ki peyi fè an general e resèse osi a cause de end of the day doktor program i i about resèse pare doktor yo in di pli bonè in terms of ban research seminars qui sont point so it's it's best seminar best et aussi il pratique et c'est avec sa programme doctorat de l'administration business que l'université CCL peut offrir qui m'a terminé news extra pour aujourd'hui et prochain programme news extra il m'a dit prochain